Hello, and welcome to my research paper, Adoption Through Foster Care, presented by me, Therese Seitz, a student of Dr. Lombardi's English 101 class at Feather River College. Most of us would agree that protecting our children is important. The foster care system was created for the protection of children and became a United States government-funded program in the 1960s. Let's start with a few statistics about children in foster care. There are more than 400,000 children in foster care in the United States. A third of these children will not be reunited with their biological families and are waiting to be adopted. That's 130,000 children. Today in California alone, nearly 100 children will be placed into foster care. That means 33 more children each day just in California that will be added to those waiting for families. This is Susie. She is one child that spent the first 631 days of her life in foster care before she met her forever family. Susie is an exception. Many foster care children spend years waiting for an adoptive family. Some spend their entire childhood in foster care, aging out of the system without a family to call their own. These statistics present many questions. We're going to explore one. Why are so many children waiting to be adopted? My research will present the argument that the reasons why children are waiting for homes come from mistaken beliefs and false information about foster care children and the adoption process. Let's explore what others say are the concerns and challenges that keep potential parents from adopting these children. The answers show a conflict. The beliefs of potential parents may appear to be real issues to them. However, from my extensive research, we can see that these concerns exist from false information and mistaken beliefs. The number one reason for potential parents choosing not to adopt from foster care is that it is too expensive to adopt. As you can see from these figures, adoptions can be expensive. Significant costs can arrive from international and other adoptions due to legal fees, travel expenses, adoption agency fees, and medical expenses, just to name a few. Clearly, this shows why people mistakenly believe that all adoptions are expensive. The truth is that a child being adopted domestically out of the foster care system costs zero dollars. Further, subsidies follow most foster care to adoption children until they are at least 18 years old. Plus, there are federal and state adoption tax credits, assistance for college expenses, and many employers now provide adoption benefits. The second reason for potential parents choosing not to adopt from foster care is they think that the process will be too stressful. We encounter system bureaucracy everywhere throughout our lives. To own a car, we have to comply with the Department of Motor Vehicle requirements of insurance and registration. To drive the car, we are required to pass the state driver's test. To own a home, we need to apply for and be approved for a mortgage. To apply to a university or college, we have to complete an application process, and most of us need to make arrangements to pay for the expenses associated with attending school. We all realize that adding a child to a family, whether a biological child or an adopted child, requires sacrifices and adjustment. It's a life-changing decision. Adopting a child domestically is typically easier and less restrictive than adopting internationally. For example, adoption criteria from China requires that the potential parents need to be a couple of one male and one female with a stable marital relationship. They must be between the age of 30 and 50. They have to have a minimal household income and a value of net assets of at least 80,000 U.S. dollars. He must be physically and mentally healthy, be a high school graduate, and have no criminal record. 
In contrast, marital status, age, income, and sexual orientations will not disqualify someone from adopting a child from foster care. I adopted my daughter as a single parent at the age of 48. Another reason for potential parents choosing not to adopt from foster care is they believe that children in foster care are damaged goods. We must remember that children enter the foster care system through no fault of their own, usually as a result of abuse or neglect or abandonment. Not only do these kids suffer trauma from the circumstances that led to foster care in the first place, but they also experience the grief of being separated from their primary attachment. When we were children, we likely had a favorite comfort item, maybe a blanket or a stuffed animal or a special toy. For me, it was a big panda bear. If that item went missing, the thought that it was lost forever added to our fears. Children waiting to be adopted feel that loss in a much more profound way every moment of every day. Behaviors are likely to happen until these children are placed in a committed nurturing home where they can calm their fears and flourish. Another common reason for potential parents choosing not to adopt from foster care is that the potential families want the child to look like them. Adopted children do not carry on our bloodline. They do not have our noses or our eyes. A mother does not experience pregnancy. There are, however, many wonderful reasons why you could consider adoption. For example, if you cannot have a biological child or are facing medical conditions that make pregnancy dangerous. Maybe there's something in your bloodline that you don't want to pass on. Or you want to raise an older child rather than an infant. Or you want to choose the gender. Or incorporate multiple races, cultures, and ethnicities into your family. Maybe you want to give a child without a family a loving home. You feel called to adopt. Or you want to help balance population growth. The California Kids Connection Program has developed a California's registry of children waiting to be adopted. So if you're looking for a child with your eye color, or you have a preferred gender, race, or culture, you can find a child that meets your expectations. The final reason addressed here for potential parents choosing not to adopt from foster care is post-adoption concerns. <clears throat> Excuse me. All children have history, genetics, and family culture. Even a newborn has experienced months in utero, which may or may not have included quality pre prenatal care. If the adoptive child isn't a newborn, they've had experiences from their surroundings and other people. This is true of all children, biological or adopted. Another concern may be that the adoptive family is worried that the original biological family might show up wanting the child back. The only way a birth parent could ever reclaim custody of an adopted child is by proving to the court that the decision to sign the relinquishment document was done under fraud or duress, and your social worker will never let that happen. Unless the adoption is an open adoption, agreed to by all parties, the biological parents have no rights to the child and cannot make any contact with the child until the age of 18. And then only if the adopted child wants the contact. Thank you for watching this presentation. Oh, Susie? Susie is my daughter, adopted from foster care, and she's been a blessing every day. For the sake of our children and our communities, dare I say, 
our world, we must protect and love these children.